gossip, your sister. Girl, are you sister gossiping? Are we gossiping, sister? The? I don't know. <laughs> this kind of feels like we're about to tell a lot of the truth, <laughs> and it's gonna hurt someone's feelings. <laughs> Wait, it just starts like super serious. Like, welcome. Um, we have a lot to discuss. It's like a YouTuber apology video. It's like. <laughs> no, I did not touch those children. Um, so that oh, was God. Okay. <laughs> I did not send those messages uh, of unsolicited dick pics. Uh, that was actually uh, someone stole my phone. Oh, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what actually do that. Did that actually happen? Oh, oh, I'm sure. That's like every YouTuber apology for like the past like five years. I keep switching off on bags of candy. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't make them on a brighter note. Chris is eating candy. Welcome, America. Yeah. America Sorry, Tremel. You have to hear my voice. Welcome uh, to, I guess, since we've been gone for like a hot minute, like months at this point, that this is like pretty much like season two. Oh. <laughs> Nothing to say about that. I was like waiting for hot. Minute. <sighs> Oh my god, it's probably because I walked away from my phone for like two seconds to get a new bag of candy. Probably. <laughs> I wanted my bonbon. I was saying that since we've been gone so long, that this is pretty much like season two of the Sister Girl Gossip. Yeah, because it's been like a couple of months. It's been a couple of months. We're ch we've changed as people, and the channel is now changing to reflect that. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Change is healthy. We start like a like a true crime podcast or something. <laughs> uh, but no, we no. we've just been gone for forever, uh, unintentionally. I think for the most part, I got stupid busy. Yeah. <laughs> for a little bit, Chris got busy, um, and then sick, and then I went on vacation, and then had like two people die, and then that's been my life. Oh, and then I got sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A so, hodgepodge of gross. Honestly, the biggest hodge. Uh, and truly a big podge. Well, I... You know when everyone was like, the big COVID spike is over, everything's great. That's when and you got you it. get it again. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that's your, that was your existence. You know, I get it for the fourth time in my existence. Yeah, how like long were you sick with COVID? It was like what? Like was it just a week or was it two? A week. That was longer than the like any time I've had it before. A whole week. Gross. Yeah, because I remember like I you like sent me a Snapchat or something, and you were like, oh, "Girl, I'm like I can't record anything for like days. Like it's not looking good." <laughs> well, I felt really dumb. It was probably like the second day I'd called out. And I just wanted to take a bath because my whole body was freezing cold. I could have been under 20 blankets and I was freezing. Mm -hmm. So I went and took a bath and like I kind of like dozed off. I probably passed out in the bath because it was so hot. <laughs> but I fell asleep for a couple great. seconds. <laughs> oh, well. I'm too long, so I can't drown myself. Oh. <laughs> no. You physically can't go under the water. No, I mean, my legs were way too long. <laughs> But as soon as I got up, as I started feeling really nauseous, I was like, oh, no, this isn't good. And I was using um, the downstairs bath or not downstairs, down the hallway bathroom. Mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm not going to throw up in this bathroom. I want to throw up in mine. Mm -hmm. I got like halfway down the hall. I was like, I'm going to pass out. So I got in the room oh, no. and I passed out. I hit the dresser and then I fell on the bed and then I fell on the floor. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> and then I woke up and my head had like. A tiny little bump on it wasn't bad, but both oh. Balthazar and Oliver were sitting right next to me like, what just happened? They were like, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets to eat his shins? Literally. <laughs> Divvy him up. I'm yeah. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you get one rib, I'll take like uh, the femur. Yeah. <laughs> we'll save the foot for dessert. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that reminds me like a, a couple months ago. Um, I just was like sitting in the living room and got like a really bad nosebleed. Um, <laughs> and like went to the bathroom, cleaned it up. And you know, usually like when I see blood, like I faint instantly because I'm a big baby and my body just shuts down completely on me. Yeah. Uh, this time it didn't happen. I was like, oh my God, like I am growing as a person. I've grown up. I'm an adult now. I don't faint. You're maturing. The side of blood. Yes. 
Um, and for, the bright young woman you are. Exactly. And for like 30 minutes after my nosebleed, I was completely fine. And then I like got up to get a drink and oh, then no. was like, oh, no. <laughs> like I could like see the stars forming my vision and like the the black vignette start to like encroach. I was like, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> okay, that's that's always what freaks me out is that like it gets staticky and then just starts going black. But also, like, my whole body felt like two tons. And oh, yeah. I just fell. I was like, oh, God. Yeah, I was I was lucky enough to where I was like, okay, I I can get to the, the bedroom. This is this is enough time. But I, like, just made it to the bed and, like, <laughs> just, like, fell into bed and then, like, was out See, for, like, an hour. Like, anytime I pass out or get sick, it has to be in the most extreme or the most, like, people way. Like, a million people are going to see it or it's... <laughs> In my room alone, in the most horrific way possible, like I could have died or something. Well, I'm surprised you haven't like had heat stroke in like one of the parades at Disney yet. <laughs> that's that's the next thing I'm waiting for is for like that big of a ordeal. I think I'm so used to the heat now that like I'll get nauseous, but I don't I don't feel like I'm gonna pass out. I don't feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> My body's prepping itself for hell. Right. <laughs> it's just getting... It, this is a trial run. Y- yes, yes. Yeah. I know it's going to be a lot worse down there, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're like, you're like uh, training for the Olympics. Like, you're making sure your body's, like, ready for what's to come. You're getting the gold medal. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> Who can burn the most? i 29 years. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well... Has anything happened else in your end, like with uh, the parades? Because I know you like you've been busy with work like crazy for like the past forever. Well, I was working seven days a week from like June twenty twenty something until my last parade was. Let's see here. My last parade was August eleventh. Good lord! So he's been so working like, like that entire time. Yeah, um, I hated my life. <laughs> well, you were like doing like parades was, and stuff, though, right? Yeah, like constant, either yeah. that or fan. Because mm, they have the. Did they start the uh, like October like Halloween thing or whatever yet? So Disney started Halloween on August 9th. Universal starts Halloween, I think, like August thirty first or September first, something. Funky like that. Oh, fun. So are you going to like have to do like double duty with Disney and Universal? Oh, girl, I already quit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, yeah well, I quit never like, mind last that. week. <laughs> oh, get it, girl. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to tell you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you totally did, because I was definitely going to bring it up like right after that you were also like working for Universal at the same time. But um, screw nope, me. I quit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I put, I didn't even give him a two weeks. I was just like, hey, I am done. You're like, no, this isn't it. This is not but, it. But they were actually very, very nice about it. They were like, it's okay. We understand. Can you at least come in for the days you're scheduled? And I was like, no. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, and yeah, no, no, I don't think, I don't think so. I just don't see that happening. Um, I just don't see that in your future. I'm going to collect my last paycheck and leave. <laughs> but yeah, I left and now I'm still depressed as hell and tired all the time, but I don't feel as anxious. Yeah. So there was a takeaway. <laughs> you, you only have to worry about Disney uh, murdering, murdering you in your sleep. No. Well, as long as it's quick and painless, I do not care. <laughs> oh, oh, no, they're going to make it drawn out for sure. It's going to be like a day long event. A whole day. Yeah. <laughs> a they, whole like, 24 back hours. My, my skin. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Each hour is a different Disney character. Oh, horrible. Yeah. <laughs> so here comes Mickey with the knife. And then, then it like, just gets like, progressively worse. Right. It's like, and then here comes uh, <laughs> Maleficent with her scythe and her uh, chainsaw. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> that would probably hurt really bad because she's like magical. She's a freak. Oh, yeah. She'd, like, be, like, repairing you at the same time. Yeah. She'd make me refeel it every single minute until the hour's <laughs> up. 
Yeah, and then you get like a, a, a reprieve, like Snow White comes in, she's to sleep the whole time. But she's like a really loud snore. <laughs> Just being tortured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Well, that, that's been your yeah. life. Has anything else uh, extravagant happened in your life? Or horrible? I decorated my room with the Halloween stuff we bought. Oh, okay. And me and Zach made like teddy bears at Build a Bear last year <clears throat> and hid them away so the dog couldn't get them. And now they're out. <laughs> have the had some dogs and decorated. Got them to have the dogs got them yet? No. No, they're up on like the dresser and where he can't get them. Oh, okay. You just come home one day, there's just like a pile of fur everywhere. And I would be like, you know what? That just <laughs> it was meant to be. Goes. That's how it goes. <laughs> that's funny. That's what I'm gonna look like in a few years. Yeah. <laughs> a shredded pile of fur on the floor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With all my fluff everywhere. Be a news stories like I I don't know how like there was no blood it was just a bunch he, he was just made of stuffing he was he literally was just the scarecrow off of Wizard of Oz. You know, I've always wondered what humans are made of. <laughs> well, uh, not stuffing, so I don't know what's wrong with your body, but uh, that's not it. Well, God made me special. He made you something. He broke the mold when he made me. As said, um, what's her name? <laughs> he bro- no, he definitely broke something. <laughs> what's her name? It's Doubtfire. There we go. Is that so? That's been your life. No other uh, fun updates with uh, what you've been doing. Just Disney, girl. I don't have fun. Yeah, <laughs> fun is dead now. I don't know. She's I don't like, know if you've looked at like my Instagram feed or anything like that. There's nothing fun on there. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing fun. <laughs> the fun is dead. I go to work. I bully some people, get in trouble by a manager, and then I go home. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, like I said, this is like a different era of the channel. Like this is our uh, serious era where there's no more fun. Mm-hmm. There's no more fun. No, nope. we're gonna be doing. I'm almost thirty. I'm not allowed to have yeah. fun. <laughs> we're gonna be reading. Um, I almost said paragraphs. That's not what I was thinking of. Um, f- f- freaking research papers. I was like, I'm excited about what I'm reading. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to be st- uh, studying the scientific tools that are used to uh, find algebraic equations, and that's going to be the entire channel from now on. I just remember algebra class with Miss Rosansky. God bless her, but that was the most boring ass class I've ever <laughs> had in my life, and I failed. The, well, oh, girl, I, think I failed. I ended too. up with like a sixty-one. Oh yeah, algebra. Like I failed horribly. I think I got like a D. Like I. I think I scraped by with the C overall, but like the majority of my literally class was be. everyone I talked to who graduated her class. I think Reagan was the only one who even got remotely close to like a B. Well, yeah, because it's freaking Reagan. That's that's a uh, little miss perfect over there with her child. Everyone else is failing. Now. So I think that's the Miss Rosansky problem. That's just a, a Reagan thing overall though she's living a better life than me i guess right well no she has like the the (laughs) the popular girl like life where she's like i peaked in high school but like i'm a nurse now and like i found my husband at disney world and we have a child and that's like that's their life (laughs) she met him at disney i don't know i just see pictures of them at disney world all the time Oh my uh, God! He proposed to her here, didn't she? I have no he, idea. I I don't keep up with Reagan that much, despite her oh being my, God. my rival. I'm going straight to Facebook right now. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's had a kid. She had a water birth at home. Like it's such a Reagan thing to do. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> am I wrong? Do you know what I mean? Like she has that like that weird like uppity vibe where she's like, yeah, you know, I did a water birth. You know, it's whatever. She has a baby. I told you she just had a baby. Precious baby, too. Oh, no, the baby's cute. It's just like, (laughs) it's like the random things that she like posts. It's like, yeah, that's Reagan. Yep, she's, I'm doing a water birth. (gasps) He unfriended me. (laughs) Reagan did? Yes. That is actually hilarious. I'm surprised she hasn't unfriended me with the amount of like times that I've just been like, (laughs) 
<laughs> shitting on her life. She's a great person, but like, it's just funny to like have her as like my quote unquote oh rival. Oh my god! She found out I started dating a guy, and she was like, "Nope, never mind." <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm too Christian for this. <laughs> could you, uh, could you imagine like that? She like wrote. She probably like wrote out like this long journal entry or something. Like she has a diary. I can see her. She could be a diary girl. If I she really that. did that, I'd be like Reagan. Listen, I'm gonna ask to go to heaven just to bother you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get. That's what you're training to, uh, for the Olympics for. Like you get the gold in hell and you go to heaven, but you can only be there to bother somebody. Listen, all right. Because I know my dad talks whenever uh, Co- Mrs. Warren, Coach Warren, Coach Melton, all of them are down. They treated me just fine. So I don't know <laughs> what our class is having issues with. Because I think the only people who talk to me are you and Nathan. Well, yeah, because we were like the only normal people. <laughs> and then look were at, we normal? Yeah, I was going to say, and then look at us now. <laughs> Le- well, I could see the look on mrs warren's face (laughs) because i got accepted into oru for um dance therapy and dance performance gonna get a college degree there and i'm dancing at disney world in a fucking blue costume so (laughs) the look on her face when i told her everything i did she was like oh oh when i said maleficent you would think i said i was a satanist Oh no! <laughs> so I was like, okay. She probably she probably thought you were like in, in the uh, Lion King performance, like one of like the lions or something, like just going she all. Out. Thought I was being a real dancer out here, right. and no, <laughs> you were no. in the the Disney version of Broadway. I'm a drag queen. That's yeah, what I. You, you literally, <laughs> you're spinning around a scepter. <laughs> yeah, for thirty seconds, and then I disappear. I am waiting for like the one night that you just like are spinning around and you just like chunk it into the river. I just want to see a clip of that. I just think that'd be so hilarious. So it was the week after I had COVID, the week I got back from work. Uh huh. The scepter is like eight pounds. It was the heaviest thing I think I've ever lifted <laughs> in my life. And I really did think I was going to lose it because my hands couldn't grip. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it'd be so funny because you're spinning it around for a while and then you like cast a lightning bolt or something, right? No. I just twirl it around and then I disappear. Oh, okay. I just think it'd be so funny if you just like were twirling it and it just like flew and you could just see it like fall into that river. (laughs) (laughs) Just, Just this giant splash and then you just disappear. Oh my gosh. But Chris would disappear as well. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't survive. You, you would not hear from me ever again. Yeah. <laughs> we would. You wouldn't actually disappear. We'd actually see you like fall off of the platform. There's like a little device that it just like pushes you off. You know when you have like intrusive thoughts, like <laughs> when you're on top of a building and you want to jump off. You want to know how badly it's going to hurt. Oh no! <laughs> you thought about just jumping? I want to know how badly it would hurt if I fell from my lift. Oh my god! I would have to try. I would have to try to get out because I'm. I just want to know how oh, bad would. I it didn't hurt? know there was a. <laughs> thought you were just like. Okay, unfortunately, you're probably gonna have to bleep all that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm talking a little too secretive here. Okay. <laughs> but between you and me. Interesting. Well, the more you know, uh, the more I know, at least. Well, not, the more you know. Else. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, America. Yeah. <laughs> America process. Tramel, that's a secret we can't tell you. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. Well, I guess, oh god, we've been going for like almost 30 minutes already. I guess I should move on to like my life. Oh my god, how am I doing? Let's well, hear about your oh life. Oh my god, girl. Um, I think the last time we recorded was like right before I went to Colorado, question mark? Which was a while ago. Okay, I have to say one thing. The dog just farted and it scared him. He was doing circles to see what the sound was. <laughs> Your dog farted and it scared him? Yes. yes. Oh, no. Okay, now keep going. I think the last time we recorded was like right before I went to Colorado, which was like, what, June? That was June because it was before my rehearsal. So I went to Colorado. Very fun. Having a lot of fun. Um, there with Dale. We're going to bars. Going to pool parties, having a good time, living life. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm real burpy. And then, go. The go-go juice is coming back for more. I'm scared. It does not want to stay down. <laughs> Use your... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, but no, like, randomly, like, on the last night we're there, we're at um, the Denver Eagle, which is like a like a gruff kind of gay bar. Oh, my goodness. Girl, if you tell me that there are guys there wearing, like, the dog masks, I'm hanging up this phone call right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Um, but we were there, and we got a phone call. Like, at, or was it, I'm sorry, it was a text. And, like, um, I want to say, like, midnight, which was like, oh, okay. And I guess, like, one of the... Uh, our friends was like had just passed away like in his sleep and they were like oh good i'm glad we're like here like at the bar like because we were gonna like gonna like go home and like just or go back to the hotel and just like eat dinner and like hang out or, like just do whatever and they're like oh no now we have to do shots and drink for the rest of the night <laughs> uh so it was like trauma drinking oh yeah Oh, yeah, there was some trauma drinking happening. I w- it was funny because, like, the friend that texted us, uh, Dale, like, sent a picture back of, like, me, like, crying in a bar. I have, like, a freaking <laughs> uh, whiskey Coke in my hand. I'm just, like, bawling. <laughs> Were you really crying? Yeah, of course I was crying. Like, in the middle of the bar. I'm already drunk. So, I'm like, the emotions were already high. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I'm sitting there like my whiskey Coke, like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of a bar, by the way, there's like, you know, 10 other people around us probably like, what the freak is wrong with this kid? Well, I'm not going to take him home. Yeah. <laughs> like, this guy needs some help. He's like, yeah. like, that is too much. Where's his mom? Yeah. <laughs> Can we get an adult over here to take this one home? <laughs> Who, whose child is this? 911 girl. Like, right, for real. So that was a fun night. It was uh, basically just me being embarrassed crying at a bar <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad so when we got back um his partner uh the guy that passed away his partner um took over and it was like oh i guess mm. I, like he willed me the bar so like i guess i'm gonna keep the bar going and like just kind of like offhand like i had told him like okay well if you need help or anything like let me know i'll be willing to come help out like if you need something and then randomly like on a tuesday night like two weeks later like not at all expecting a phone call <laughs> like eight o- what was it i think it was like six o'clock he was like we need someone to bar back can you come in a bar back in like two hours uh, like we need someone tonight and you didn't need like a food handler's license i already had my food handler's li- like i told him i had like my food handler's license and stuff because i had to get that for retro for like catering and stuff Oh, interesting. Okay. So I've had my food handler's license for like a year or two. Uh, when did, when did I, get, I think it was so last year sometime. Um, <laughs> so, so I just went in and bar backed for like a, no experience, like no idea what I was doing. Just like showed up and I was like, okay, like here we go. <laughs> so he I, really said, you were like, Anytime, anytime we need help. And you said, um, can you manage my bar for um, me? <laughs> pr- pretty much. I mean, it's not managing the bar. I- I'm like doing dishes and like getting ice and crap. Like it's not. <laughs> oh, as you should. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, it's not like I'm like over here working the pole and then like doing the checks and then like buying the beer. Oh, my God. If you ever pole dance, you have to tell me how much money you make. <laughs> Girl, I'll be like, yeah, I made like at least five dollars, and you're like, oh wow, yeah. Like most of the people, you know what? Were th- like asking me for money back, but <laughs> can you give me a refund? Yeah. I'm grossed out. Right it was now. still a net positive. <laughs> you know what? If it was worth it, I would totally quit my job now to be a stripper. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> you, you see know, all the girls on TikTok, but. Or the, the, $12,000 two days. <laughs> oh, right. You, you know, girl, it is, it is a valid thought. Because I've been like, you know what? That is not fair that some of these people are just out there getting naked and making like a $100,000 a day. <laughs> As some of them aren't even that pretty. Like some of the guys on TikTok, I'm like, ooh, 
And they're like millionaires right now. Right. It's like, I mean, I can take my shirt off, but like no one wants to like pay me to take my shirt off. Yeah. I got weird pyramid nipples. There's no way <laughs> people would be getting sick. So <laughs> we just need to find uh, people that like the uglies and have a bar dedicated to them. Yes. Then- <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my. I would but- just be afraid they'd be like, Gary. Okay. I'm not oh, derailing yeah. the conversation. Now. Oh no, you're going. good. Um, I've, totally forgot but anyway i've been bar backing um on tuesday nights um so that's been a whole thing like i don't really know what i'm doing um i really don't even know like if i'm employed like the bar manager was like oh we don't have like your payment or like your direct deposit information yet so here's like (laughs) in a vanilla envelope with like 75 bucks in it oh my god under the table yeah (laughs) i was like okay (laughs) it's like i'm not reporting that so i'm taking it the irs don't like listen in on this i'm definitely reporting that 75 amazing (laughs) yeah i was like okay like i'll take it like why not (laughs) well you gotta tell us the story about what happened last night (laughs) oh god so i well that's also like a lead up because that was a wednesday night and Mm -hmm. the bar manager's like i talked because i told him um (laughs) <laughs> it was funny because like for the first like week i didn't like give them my food handler's license or liquor license so i was like i <laughs> like kind, kind of a little uh risque because like they don't really know if i'm actually verified <laughs> oh my god i didn't know you had your liquor license too well yeah you had to have a liquor license to work in a bar that's actually really cool <laughs> so it, it, it took the second week before like i actually gave it to them um and then they asked me for like my payment information and shit, but they like just didn't do it, I guess. So like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm technically an employee yet. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting money out of the table. I, it's fine. It doesn't matter. I don't care. It's. You're only there for one day a week, so. Oh, yeah. Like the actual like uh, uh, employee like check that I get, I think it, the f- it was like 75 bucks for like three nights. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, so it don't matter. Yeah, and I had already told them, like, to take... <laughs> Again, getting super boring with our new serious podcast. Um, oh. But I, like, had already told them to take, like, 50 bucks out for, like, in my W-4 for, like, tax reasons. Just to, like, mm. make sure I was even. Um, so Listen I have no idea. you being adult. I know, oh my god. I don't, I don't want it to pay, like, crazy amount of taxes. Not true. Um... So I like withheld like 50 bucks because like, I don't know what I'm going to make. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't even know like what I'm getting an hourly rate. <laughs> like, I don't know what my hourly You're is. probably getting minimum wage, like 12 bucks. So like, I truly do not know like what my uh, <laughs> actual wage is. Well, but this is the bar back. That's technically not the bartender. Right. No, I think the bar t- bar backs get more uh, because they don't mm-hmm. get as much tips. But like I said, it's just been like such a random like shit show like i don't know like when i'm working i don't know if i'm employed (laughs) i'm getting money so i guess that's that's all that matters in the end i guess look at you having two jobs (laughs) well yeah i mean it's it's like handling it a lot better than i did (laughs) it's like after uh, my normal job on tuesdays and it's like only like a couple nights a week i was like okay i can handle that like i can get sleep like on the side i can sleep when i'm dead yeah Yum, yum, you're welcome yum. you're welcome <laughs> i should start saying that like if i'm like giving someone a drink or something <laughs> like, you're about, welcome, mm, you're welcome. <laughs> just, like, uh, what the hell just just make that my bar persona yeah no. yeah you're welcome mm-hmm. yeah yeah i bet you're grateful are you, you know? are you bartending or are you just giving people drinks Oh, no, I'm just bar backing. So, like, I'll give people their drinks every once in a while, but it's mostly just cleaning dishes, getting ice. Okay. Uh, cleaning like, up. Excuse me? <laughs> cleaning up barf. I had to clean up my first barf last night. That was fun. Oh, your first barf. Oh, my God. It was an experience. Oh. I had to take And a... it was the gay barf, too, so it's, like, big and loud. It actually, it might have been, like, a lesbian barf, because it was outside on the patio, and it was like just like a little splash. Oh. Like I literally like if because so, someone came in and said like there's barf outside. Like it was s- small enough to where if I didn't know it was barf, I would have just thought someone like spilled a drink or something. Oh, she was she was being very mindful and demure. Yeah, <laughs> she's like only the water. We can't have any chunks today. She like <laughs> gritted her teeth. 
<laughs> it's like only water. Shoot it up and swallow the rest. Yeah. But I just took a big bucket and was like, all right, away into the bushes with you. Ew. But I'm I'm scared for the day. Like I told one of the bartenders there is like the day that someone barfs like inside and it's everywhere, like is the day like I'm gonna quit. <laughs> like I yeah, don't I, I love don't... my friend, but I don't I'm not no. right. Like I was like, I'm glad to help out um in your difficult time. Uh but no, we don't do barf here. <laughs> No, and I was the same way at Metro Merch when they were making me clean up people's shit that they were pooping oh, on, yeah, the floor. on the walls and stuff. <laughs> and then when that person took their poop log and colored on the walls like it was a crayon, oh. like I swear, if I didn't need money at that point, I would have burned the place to the ground <laughs> and I would have found the person who did it and threw him in there. <laughs> and then I would have started smoking cigarettes <laughs> with that flame. Like, <laughs> You would just keep the flame going forever. Like you just like be constantly burning another cigarette with the old one. I would I would die like a week later from smoking so yeah. many cigarettes because <laughs> I would not let it go. <laughs> I feel like this flame is gonna last eternal. You like will it to like your surviving uh, family and just like just keep this flame going. <laughs> Yeah, this is my heart. You have to keep right. it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> so, burning. Randomly, again, bringing it back to the Olympics. Like it's like the uh, Olympic torch where you have to like keep it going. Like as it gets there to the stadium. Exactly, and then if it burns out, I like I blow away. Yeah, I, the ash. <laughs> I think if it blows out, like you just combust instantly. Like you, just, like just the whole world will know you're uh, like an agony. atom bomb went off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every country has like a sniper pointed at the uh, Olympic runner with a flame. It's like, if it goes out, we're all taking the shot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that all kind of led up to last night. So I'm a little bit more experienced now. I've done, I think last night was like my sixth shift. So like, I kind of, I kind of know the gist of what I'm doing. Uh, Sorry, that was on the rise. Okay, I thought I lost you again. I no, I just, I, I felt that coming and I was concerned i was gonna like have a little vom sesh if i didn't let it happen oh no <laughs> um i've learned apparently bars have a different way of like cutting fruit okay because the um the first time like one of the bartenders was like can you like cut me up a lime i was like yeah do you want like wedges and he's like no no, no you don't know what you're doing no. <laughs> He showed me, he's like, you have to cut it here and then here and then cut it like sideways and then like make it into force and then like cut it down the middle. So there's like little spaces in it so they can put it on the glass. It's like, OK, this this is a whole like thing. <laughs> Girl, they ain't going to be eating the lime. Why are you so specific? <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know. I I truly don't. I was like, OK, like what? How do you ever want me to cut it? And then last night, um, that same bartender was like, was like, I need oranges. Get me an orange. I was like, I got it. And uh there's not really anywhere in the bar to cut the fruit except on the actual bar. Um, mm -hmm. So one of my other friends happened to be there. His name is uh, Justin. Oh, get it, girl. And he's like big, like gruff country guy, like a uh, handyman is what he's called. Oh, he's a blue collar guy. Yeah, yeah. Fixes things for a living. Like very, very man's man. <laughs> Okay. Um, and I come up out there with like my little orange and my cutting board that's like small and plastic. And this, the knife they have to cut the fruit, admittedly, does look like a piece of shit. It's like it's white. It's it a dull piece of crap. No, 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 no. It's not. It's really sharp, but it looks dull. It, it's it looks like it's plastic, but it's metal. It, I can't explain why it looks so shitty, <laughs> but it does. <laughs> uh, so imagine like. The equivalent of a plastic looking knife, like just like a flimsy little piece of plastic knife, um, but like a really good knife. <laughs> so I'm out there like cutting this orange and he comes by like that knife looks like a piece of shit. Looks like how dull it looks like. Well, no, it's like actually cutting the orange pretty good. And like, like I'm getting slices. And like, as I say that, like I look away for a second and then like cut straight, straight open. into my thumb. And I was like. Mm, yeah, he cut my thumb pretty good, too. <laughs> Here you go, Justin. <laughs> As he orders a Shirley Temple. 
<laughs> right. I didn't want to like I was like halfway cutting the fruit. I was like, I don't want to like have to leave this here and like go get a bandage and put gloves on. So I was like, OK, I'm just going to like cut it with my other hand. And if it starts bleeding, I'll go put a glove on. And for a minute there, oh. it, was, it was fine. And then it like just started gushing blood. I was like, OK, time for. <laughs> time to glove up so I don't bloody up time the fruit. Pass out. Right. I was like, I'm just going to put a glove on and finish so I don't bloody up the fruit and then I'll take care of it. Like, I, I'll I'll have a second to deal with my bloody thumb. So, like, I finished cutting all the fruit, put it in, like, the little fruit tray and then told the bartenders, like, I'm going to need a second. Like, I cut my hand. Like, I need a bandage, some Neosporin. <laughs> He's like, he like, I need to go cry. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, get the first aid kit. Take care of yourself. Like, I was like, perfect. Thanks. And like, as soon as I took the glove off of my hand to like assess the situation, it like started, <laughs> like when the glove was coming off, it started just dripping down my arm. I was like, oh, that's not good. And then I like, oh my I, God. I took it all the way off and my thumb was just like, it was just completely gone. red. Just, well, no, it wasn't gone. It was just completely red. I was like, oh, I'm like bleeding, bleeding. Like that was a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling woozy, man. <laughs> Luckily, I don't know how, uh, because I usually do like pass out like instantly at the side of blood. Maybe because I was yeah. working and it was busy. I was like, I, like, I can't be defeated by an orange. Like, I know oranges have defeated me in the past, but it can't be this you one. And these fucking oranges. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had problems with oranges. Maybe it's because the, the orange is getting revenge for how I ate them in the past. Yeah, they're like, he like destroyed our grandfather and yeah. spit him out. <laughs> they didn't even eat him. He didn't even enjoy the orange. He just spit us out. It was it was all a game. In the mashed potatoes of all mm. places. Maybe you deserved that. Maybe it was. It really was karma. It was. I, it was time. I. You know what? I think JoJo Siwa has a point. Karma is a bitch, and I should have known better. Did you do the dance, or did she appear and do the dance? <laughs> uh, girl, kind of. When I saw my blood, I started like kind of doing the dance, like just out okay. of out of fear. Like it was a Bloody Mary kind of thing. You see her in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, could you imagine if you did Bloody Mary and like it was just JoJo Siwa? You see, like, come as a bitch. <laughs> Everything would make sense. I oh Everything yeah, Everything in life would make sense at that point. I think I would be enlightened. I think I would understand the universe. It would make me want to go out and actually fix the problem. <laughs> like, <laughs> it would make me want to better myself. It would make me be. It would make me want to be more demure. Yeah. <laughs> It would make me realize my life isn't as demure as it could be. Exactly. Um, we owe it all to JoJo as you are. Honestly, if if anyone takes anything out of this podcast, it's uh, be thankful for JoJo Siwa. Like, thank you, JoJo. For real. Like, her music saved my life. Yeah. <laughs> Just knowing that there's something like that out there, like, I know where the bar is. And now you also know that you can handle, you know, seeing blood on your thumb. Like, you can do it. You can do anything. Maybe. I mean, that was that was a rare occurrence. That was that was like a one of them. Because I definitely did feel woozy, but I was like, I can't let this orange defeat me. It, it well, I wish that Justin would have been, like, there to witness that so he would have made fun of you further. Oh, no. <laughs> I, sh I mean, I showed him when I cut my thumb. And, like, he was sitting there the whole time I was cutting the fruit. So he knew what was going on. Please tell me he was laughing. Oh, he was kind of chuckling. Yeah. Yeah, there was laughing happening. You would have been <laughs> proud. But yeah, I like when I went to go clean it up, it literally was like coated in blood. Like it was to the point where it was like so bloody. It was like, I don't know where it's coming from. Like I had to well, like. Well, there's like arteries or something. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of happens. Like when you cut yourself, like there's you kind of like start bleeding, you know. And then your thumb loses its um its heartbeat and then yeah, the, it goes yeah. away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I was sitting there like cleaning my thumb for like five minutes because it wouldn't stop bleeding. And then I finally got like Neosporin on it and I was looking for bandages. I was like, where the heck are the bandages? And I like went up to the bar because I was like digging through this first aid kit. There was, th I mean, there was, girl, there was like everything in there. There was like eye drops. There was um, like the cotton swabs. There was like a COVID Iodine. test. I had, oh yeah, the girl, there was like Tylenol. Um, girl, there you're lying. There was a COVID test in there. Oh yeah, there was a COVID test in Like Not like one of the big ones, but it was like kind of like broken, broken. It was a whole thing. You look a little sick. 
let me do a quick little COVID right. test. Well, I think, you I think at it, the bar. Or, oh, yeah. Well, I think it's mainly like for the bartender or something. If they're like, I, I don't know. I don't know why it was in there. Maybe they just had it. Um, but there was everything in there. There was like freaking tampons in there. Like, girl, there was Damn. everything in that first aid kit. And I was like, where Except the heck the are the freaking <laughs> bandages? Like there was gauze in there. I was like, I'm not going to gauze up my thumb like a weirdo. And then you had gauze that didn't you? No, I didn't. But I went up to the bartender. I was like, are there no bandages in here? Like there's n- literally nothing. There's like everything else I could ever need in here. But there's no bandages. He was like, oh, well, here, there's another first aid kit. Like, look through this one. Could you imagine if you did that on a Friday night girl, where they couldn't talk to you because they were so busy? <laughs> girl, I would just die. I literally would pass out from blood loss. They'd be like, get away. I'm making money. <laughs> just throws a bourbon and Coke at my face. I was like, oh, but I found like the second first aid kit, which was like almost completely empty, had nothing in it. There was like random little little tiny things in there and then i finally found like those like tiny ass butterfly bandages and those were the only bandages i could find it's like yeah it's like great like i guess i'll just put like three of these on my finger (laughs) those are normally what i go to well because the bigger band-aids just kind of suck to wear so i'll do the butterfly ones but they're always the tiny ones that don't do nothing yeah oh yeah they don't like cover anything so like eventually i was just like i'm just gonna like fully put the sticky part over <laughs> over the wound Ow. i was like well i was like there's no way like it's gonna it was like such a wide cut That's the worst that can happen right <laughs> well the cut was like so wide i was like i can't uh, like i'm gonna have to put like five of these on if i yeah. and it would have like been at a weird angle i was like i'm just i'm just putting the sticky part over it and being done with it. And then it it was fine. It didn't bleed the rest of the night. I wore a glove like a weirdo. People kept asking if I was going to fist them. (gasps) Oh, and (laughs) well, you do have the, um, the fisting cream. I do. I'll know for next time, I guess I'll just, I'll bring it up there and be like, Oh yeah. Like you wanted it last time. So here you go. Bend over tips optional. But at that point, I better be getting some uh, mandatory tips. (laughs) <laughs> five dollars of fisting 20 percent exactly twenty dollars an inch <laughs> <laughs> i mean i i'd throw the whole arm in there at that point <laughs> like girl like girl that's another twenty dollars like you but like you just like stay there what's wrong with george he's not moving <laughs> oh i grabbed his heart <laughs> is that your arm going out of his throat I was like, yeah, he had, he had to pay me $1,000. <laughs> he went having fun. Yeah. <laughs> we'll all remember him for the good times. <laughs> and his money. <laughs> right. Oh, I'll remember the money for sure. Girl, I've actually been kind of enjoying the the tips. I forgot how much fun it is to like work a tip job. When was the last time you had a tip job? When I worked at the golf course. Cause that was like, oh, that, that's right. Honestly, if I didn't hate everyone that worked up there and they probably don't hate me and I didn't have a job I enjoy, I might think about going up there and working there again. I made good well, didn't money. Cody's work there for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. He worked up there. Like he literally oh, yeah. quit my first day up there. So I worked with him for one shift. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I was literally his replacement. And oh, honestly, <laughs> it was a downgrade. Because weren't you, like, hiding from people? And... Oh, yeah, girl, I did not care about that job. I was, like, sitting in the bag room playing RuneScape. I literally had, like, a gaming setup. I was playing RuneScape on my laptop. Um, I was using, like, someone's golf clubs that, like, I had turned up. Because he was never there. I, like, took all his clubs out and used his bag as a chair. Oh, my God. Girl, I was, I had a now, whole listen here. setup. I would gladly throw on a wig and be a cart girl because those girls make so much money oh Oh. girl that i mean they were making there was one time i was talking to one of them they were making like 500 bucks a day i was like all i gotta do is flash some tip be like oh my gosh you're so handsome and they'll (laughs) oh yeah all of those guys especially the if you go to like a rich country club they're they're not like just being like oh here's a dollar here's two they're like no here's 10 bucks here's 20 dollars now look at my feet (laughs) now But I think 
at the golf course, I was probably making like just in tips, probably 150 bucks a day. And then Jeez. was getting paid like a normal hourly rate. I think I was like getting paid like 11 bucks an hour. So not like That's such good money, not like super crazy, but like just from the tips alone, I was making like 2000 bucks like every two weeks. No, that's good. But I like also hated everything about that job. Besides the money. Sometimes you gotta you gotta <laughs> suffer and, and just keep on keeping on for but that if, money. If things ever just don't turn out well, if I ever decide I hate editing, um and all of those people that work at the golf course forget I exist, you know what? Maybe it's in the cards. I feel like you're gonna keep editing until your eyes say, "Oh, I'm done." Until, until I'm, I'm blind, and the, yes, yeah. and then I'll go to the golf course. Be like, I can't really get your bags, but like I can just look pretty. Yeah, I'll just stand here. You can't yeah. tip me that. Well, no, much. at that at that point, then I can go to the bar and pole dance. I because no, it won't matter what I see. <laughs> True. No one's in the room with you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like dancing like in a closet. It's pitch black. Like, yeah, you're doing so good, man. Like, great. Just stay there. It's like, you're really getting tips. There's like just rats, like, and just like going by me. It's like, oh my God, I can feel them putting it in, in, in my pants. <laughs> my speed is getting really full. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the rats nesting. Oh, uh, awful. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've been going almost an hour. So I think we kind of end things there. So we're back for season two. Like when we go season two. Oh my god. I cannot believe it. We have episodes to come. I don't know what they are yet because we haven't planned them out. We just kind of did this one out of the blue. We're just going for it. We're just like doing whatever we have to say. So like you have to listen. I like the talk. We Chris does oh. enjoy talking and I also enjoy <sighs> Do it over that was moaning, I guess. Okay, I thought you were throwing up because I heard like a splash sound. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Could you imagine if I, if I just did that on command? I'm like, Chris enjoys talking. I enjoy <laughs> I got really worried because you were saying you felt <laughs> sick. So, <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, I forgot about my one day sickness that I had uh, last week. Oh no! Give it a quick one. It was. I'll make it like a quick like offside before we end. It was uh, like Monday night, so I had to work on at the bar on Tuesday night, and I got home from my normal job uh, Monday night, and I was like, I do not feel good at all. It's like, but it's like my second week, so I was like, I don't want to like <laughs> call out because I'm sick. So I was like, oh I, no! So I was like, I'm gonna will myself to be better. Like I cannot get sick. So like I took like all the medicine, like that was available. I had like Tylenol, uh, freaking Mucinex, Benadryl. Like I I did it all. <laughs> it was like I'm just gonna. <laughs> you made cocktails, right? I, and then like that night, I was like, okay, I can be sick tonight. Like I will allow my body to be sick tonight, but like that's the only night I'm allowed to be sick. So like for Monday night. <laughs> I like had a fever. The chills was like coughing and hacking. And then like Tuesday morning, I like felt perfectly fine. I was like, you know, okay. Nope. You had the 24 hour bug. Yeah. I was like, I just, I just willed myself to be sick for a night. And then <laughs> my body's like, I right. was like, what is going on? <laughs> right. He's singing in his sleep. Something's happening. Yeah. <laughs> it was just me getting the sick out. That was a good Spark Notes version of the story. Yeah, I mean, it literally is about all that happened. But that was a uh, our sickness episode. Down with the sickness. Ooh, the start I love of season two. We said uh, it's two, but we didn't make that joke the whole time. <gasps> two. two season two. But uh, yeah, join us for the next one where we talk about whatever and like. Make sure to like have a good time, like and subscribe, like maybe do that. I don't know what I'm doing. It's been a while. This is a new era. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I haven't been back. here for so long. This is a new era where we don't know what we're doing. The serious, boring, don't know what we're doing era. <laughs> us being adults. Yeah. And sad. <laughs> Join us for the next we, episode we where find. we talk about algebraic equations and what they mean for you. Like a tarot card. Yeah. <laughs> mm, you got X equals 12. That's not good. Oh, you're going to die tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh my god, you got Y divided by three. That is a great fortune for you. What? What? What was? Um. Oh my god, I'm gonna figure this out before you cancel us out here. <laughs> before I cancel Why? us. Oh my god, it's how you find like the square. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's how you find the square. Yep. Uh, let me see. Oh, I... A plus B equals C, and like. Oh yeah, like A plus B will C squared divided by something that it's like the isn't it just the algebraic equation or some bullshit? I have no idea, <laughs> girl. girl I... You think I listened in school? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> girl, that was Miss Eiley. You think I cared what she had to say? Oh, Miss Eiley, <laughs> she was mean. She was rude. I did not pay attention in algebra at all. Miss Eiley was very scary. Oh yeah, and she was like twenty years old. Oh, yeah. The scariest 20-year-old I've ever seen. Because <laughs> she was so short. Yeah, she had a lot of pent-up anger. And then she got married to one of her students. Yeah, that's, I still think that's weird. <laughs> the drama of it all. <laughs> we'll talk about that in the next episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just, like, go into a deep dive. Sister Girl Gossip. Yeah, <laughs> Sister Girl Gossip, episode 12, Miss Eiley. <laughs> <laughs> People are just like, What? Adultery. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine a whole episode? Oh god. Oh, in the next one. Did you hear how serious you got in the next one? Yeah, in the next. Yes. Like I guess I had serious episodes now from now on. Oh. Season two. I need to get myself a microphone so I can sound a little bit more professional for you. You truly do. <laughs> so I don't sound like I'm speaking into a phone. <laughs> Gossip, your sister.